Well, there are, but not many. Do you know, as we as we entered Monday, third week of free agency, 211 guys have changed teams so far in free agency. It doesn't include the eight different NFL trades. 211 have changed teams. Who is available? Only quarterback left of recognition is Ryan Tannehill, but he's got 100,000 miles on him. He's had a bunch of injuries. Uh, I'm surprised he's not signed by anybody, but you know he was making Boku bucks in Tennessee. And if somebody says, well, you can come be here and compete for the starting job, but you're only going to get $5 million or $3 million or veterans money, and that, maybe that's why Tannehill is not signed. OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., legendary giant, has been a lot of different places, had significant injuries, still productive. <clears throat> Last year, he averaged 16 yards per catch, but limited play for the Baltimore Ravens. He was just this morning offered a deal uh, to go to Miami. So it may well be he's going to be the next one that's going to sign. The unique one is a young receiver, Michael Gallup. Had a couple of good years with Dallas, then had a bad knee injury. Came back the second half of last season. He played really well. He's making visits. He's out there. He has not signed. <coughs> Excuse me. He's younger than Odell Beckham. The weird one is Jadavian Clowney. I mean, a former pass rusher, uh, number one draft pick, high number one draft pick, former Houston Texan. He's kind of moved all over the map recently. He's become kind of a plug-in guy. I don't. He has not signed yet. He's making some visits, but his his track record has been very erratic, and his ability to last a whole season has been even less. So he'll get signed, but I don't know for what price. Unique one is Justin Simmons, Denver Broncos, nine-year safety, four-time Pro Bowler. He got let go on a cap issue. He's probably got some years left. Hunter Renfro, why the Raiders ever paid him $11.5 million after a couple good seasons is kind of weird. But I think he goes somewhere as a slot receiver, but he's not going to get big money. Trey White, the number one draft pick, Buffalo, still out there, devastating knee injury over the last year and a half. Uh, not the same player right now. Maybe he just needs more time to rehab, but he's still out there, and he's younger than any other names on that list. And then uh, Stephon Gilmore, former New England Patriot, Dallas Cowboy, looks like he's really slowed down in the secondary he doesn't have a contract yet. So there's still some names out there, but everybody's name now kind of has an asterisk next to him with something attached that says, pay attention to this. Isn't it interesting how we follow players and they come out as a rookie in the big contract, and then we see who the, the later draft round uh, guys that are the rising stars, and then we see them reach the pinnacle of their career. And then we see these guys start to go down the backside. Yep. And then some of them, for it's a cliff. I mean, they just fall off the cliff. They're out. Other guys have a kind of a slow glide down. you know. So I wonder, Tannehill might be a slow glide down kind of guy. Well, there's a psyche adjustment that has to be made. When you're making $24 million a year and you're a star, and he had a couple of really, really good years teaming with Derrick Henry in Tennessee when they became an AFC South Power, all of a sudden the it's not a $24 million payday anymore. So you're going to have to make a mental adjustment. Oh, that you want to play this game? You want to play at a different price? You're going to play at their price? You don't want to be a piece of baggage that starts getting handed you know, at the railroad station every other year. You keep moving somewhere else. So it, I think it's a tough adjustment for some of these guys that their career is moving into a different different yeah, time frame. Big adjustment. I, Clowney, is, wasn't he a, n a number one overall pick? He was one of them, yes. Yeah, so and how long ago was that? Oh, geez. eight years, nine years. Yeah. Sounds and he played right. well. He played well in Cleveland last year, but he didn't start all season. Then he got better and better and more playing time. And by the end of the season, he was pretty good, but he was making decent dollars and he's not going to make decent dollars. I think there's an injury history there that mm -hmm. has kind of trailed him too. Okay. We go from that.